Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, uh, where I'm back now. Uh, <laughs> it's been Got a while. <laughs> His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? I like that they, they look around. I think I, I prob I've probably said this before, but, like, he's reading something, right? So he looks down at it, you know? Or, like, sometimes in a conversation, they'll, like, look over to the other NPCs or something, you know? Like, I like that a lot. I think it's a, it's a nice touch. Hmm, you hesitated there, Vic. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I mean, this all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, uh, you sometimes get a sense for these uh, things. He... I think, is he telling me that we don't need to go? Or are we... I don't know. Like, we have, he's like, there's a domicile here. He's like, oh, it's a long shot. I'm like, what? What? Like, if we, we can just go. You have the address. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that was a... Uh... Monarch. We need to go to Monarch for both of our friends here. Oh, right. That's, um... For money and stuff like that. The groundbreaker relay. Oh, and that's okay. Yeah, somebody did comment. I think because I'm I'm terrible at responding to comments uh, in the last like year or so. But I did see somebody was like, "Wow, I've never just thought to walk in there and talk to them <laughs> about it or whatever, and just like walk in and be like, hey, give me a tour.'" <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a stealth master. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're going on the ship, and we're gonna go find. I'm intrigued by this 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 journal thing, um, the forbidden book thing. Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball? You two match? would. No one. Really? I mean, he would. Felix would play with you. He likes it. Every time I see my character in the uh, like the inventory screen, I just think she looks so awesome. I, that the bigger armor is growing on me more than the medium armor was too. I really like it a lot. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Me? I can go to the engine room. I don't actually know where the engine room is. I'll just have to walk around and find it. I know I found Parvati at one point. Is it back? Yeah. So my dad, he told me, don't you let that boy push you around. So I hit him with a wrench, right? Ooh, dad was mad. <laughs> Guess he wanted me to use my words. <laughs> Not that I ever been good with those. He grounded me for a week. You want to know a secret, Sam? It was worth it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Something busted, Captain? Um, no. Okay, I can't actually. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. Jeez. Why do I still have the option to send them away? I don't know. I feel like that should be like on like a whole separate thing. Like, so you don't accidentally like. You're like, oh, it's a blank option. And you just like pick it. And then you're like, oh no. And like, yeah, you gotta like reload and all that. Find a scholar. Well, let's see what everybody else is doing really quick. Also, do I have anything I'm supposed to look at? Uh, nope. Okay. Man, my room is so plain. Everybody else has, like, personality. Where- I- so I- I collect- I collect ships sometimes. I know I collect little model ships. Those, like, I know in Mass Effect, if you collect, at least in 2 and 3, and Andromeda, 
Um, if you found, like, little collectible ships, they would show up in your office. Um, I don't know if this is like that. Give me that. Give me. What's that? Lemony Fresh. Okay. He lives in the cleaning closet. Felix doesn't look too bad in that outfit. Good to see you, boss. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Just making sure everybody's doing well. Alright, let's go. Ada, I did as you asked, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure this game is sometimes pretty sophisticated with what it allows you to do. So I was like, okay, I guess. I got, sure. How are things? Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Oh, uh, that's right. Not yet. Uh, uh, not now. I, I don't even... I, I'm focused on Monarch. Tartarus is not is locked. Oh, we went to that. Or I think I think that was the one we went to. Yeah, I think so. Monarch. Warning, danger dangerous. Uh well let's go to the nice one first. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. Message from Dr. Wells. We'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Uh, oh, okay, but put him on screen, Nick. Eh? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things You're gonna right. wake him up and then throw him in? If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Oh, I'm all about it. Uh, you sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Uh, uh, uh sounds fun. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous That's monsters. What I live for. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guy. Oh, good. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. I am. Once you have everything you missing need, someone. make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my uh, lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting you're on gonna you. You're going to throw them in like you threw Captain, me in? An unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's aether wave frequencies. The Eternal is in us uh -huh. all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Mm. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected. And yeah, we're getting religious wavelength stuff. Um, was... Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin. Okay. I mean, he's not wrong on something, you know, where it's like just because you're not born into, you know, wealth doesn't mean that you're not worthy of any of something or you know oh let's get um i wish it would show me like the perks i have for them uh 
sure, sure. I think who? No, no, no. We need Parvati. Parvati has something she wants on Monarch. The Vicar has something he wants on Monarch. I have something I want on Monarch that I totally spaced. I don't know which landing baby we're supposed to use. It's like the probably the warning one, but it'll be. I want to see what's at this one. If there's like a little town or something. <laughs> Not every challenge you solve with a gun. They can be handled through negotiation or subterfuge or being hammer. That's that's my motto. Oh, nice. Oh, I was expecting it to be more of a wintry place. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my... My marker got changed. Oh, I need to go down. Where's the down button? I'm um, just- oh, here it is. I was like, I'm gonna jump! Oh, hi! Hey, hold on there. I, I knew it, I knew it, I knew I was gonna have to pay a docking fee. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, oh, right? Jeez, why is you being so aggressive about it? Or my, is my ship on the landing pad next to you? I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. Okay. You must have seen those UDL gunships on uh, your totally. way. Ah, totally. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Uh, what are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. <laughs> On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the record. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to change. I don't think I need to pretend I'm Alex Hawthorne, do I? I don't. Maybe I do. Uh, I'd prefer to trap. No, I'm just gonna do my name. What the heck? Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own Oh, my code. reputation increased. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Uh, you're not what I expected to find on Monarch? I don't know what I expected to find on Monarch. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. <laughs> You're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Yeah. Ah. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. No. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Oh, good. Ah, the nostalgic stench of <laughs> Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. See the priest one, or the, the one who was preaching? Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters... Maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Do you get paid to just stand oh, out here? and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Uh, what is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Uh, who's Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or I, something? I have, yeah. 
Uh, I've been in hibernation for decades. <laughs> huh. You're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. Poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. Oh, I could sell like it? the fancy collector types say, the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Uh, I can ask much poster. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Hmm, I guess we should go talk to this guy. Oh, hey, I have that! I have that. Well, it... Uh, the, uh, well, the Yacht Club vendor. What? These people, it seems a little bit nicer here than in other places. Do I? Do I know you? You have a name. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? I just want to punch you in the face, like, automatically. You got a lot of breaths for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, ma'am, <laughs> is enjoying the moment. <laughs> it's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. Uh-huh. Your neighbors probably aren't missing your company either, come to think of it. And how should they know? Oh, yeah. Missing? I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated <laughs> town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Uh, you miss the good old days? Days of consumption and culture. Ugh. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? I wanted to punch you in the face. <laughs> he just has the look of a man that just says, punch me. <laughs> oh, yeah. The bright red hair and the green outfit. Dang. You look good. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. <laughs> Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach, and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn rap down uh -huh. there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I, was, I mean, I guess they, they're very isolated, so they probably know every single person. Uh, Amara, pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. <laughs> Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nah. <laughs> nice change of pace. Buy me a drink. Hell one. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, another round. Outstanding. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Uh, vacation. <laughs> I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. <laughs> brass rats. Let's let's talk business. Let's do it. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my I head. I butter a drink. Uh, what do you need? Outstanding. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Mm -hmm. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pill. They're very good. Okay. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me ah! one and we'll be all You want me to be a drug hustler? <laughs> if I can't get a steroid or caffeine or something? Or no, I Oh, okay, uh, let's do the medical. You mean caffeinoid? This stuff's just a simulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. Um. What is that? She certainly seems like a character. Okay, let's, um. Uh, hmm. 
passion pills. It says passion pills. What? This reminds me of I was like a planet in Andromeda that I really, really like. Velma seem out of sorts to you? I can't remember the name of. She's always cranky. No, I mean. Don't mind more me. Than usual. Just... Wouldn't know. I made it a point to stay out Don't of the way. Don't mind me. Just gonna. Oh, here's the Saltuna factory. Do they actually have Saltuna here? Apparently. I wouldn't have expected that after Edgewater. Workbench. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And they had the birds come out and everything. You a person with a name? Nope. Wouldn't mind smelling like salt tuna if you could just tell me. So they were basically a salt tuna factory until things went haywire. If I jump in there, do I die? Uh, hang on. I gotta check. I always gotta check and see if I die when I hit the water. I don't really see a way to get back out. Whee! No. Oh, oh man. There's an invisible wall here. Lame! Is that what they used to catch the fish? I don't think I even saw another. I think. Well, no, that's right. There was a dock. There, I was like, I don't think I saw a big enough body of water for for Saltuna to even live in near Edgewater. But uh, now that I think about it, there was. We got the mission from one of those guy from the guy on the dock. I can't remember what it was called, but yo, am I just like going really around <laughs> about? I'm like, hey, I just come in from the wrong side. I don't know. Can I go in here? Woo! Jeez! Oh! Oh! I'll note it next to the others, sir. Were you the- Why is there like- Faces don't look quite, like, pixelated in. Maybe it's just because he's got wrinkles. Well, new business turns up at You were last. not the guy on the- on the Celia, recording. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. Uh-huh. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the line? <laughs> You've often posed these very oh. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting. Oh, I'm f oh, I got I got actual real life goosebumps. Woo, and I whoa, I just ate like oh nasty man. Oh no, no, that's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self review? Very Yo. generous. No, she is. But not so generous. I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? She is the most long-suffering woman on this planet, guaranteed. Um, I'm just going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison. No. No. <gasps> Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. No. Uh... <laughs> One more weird science project passed off as food in this spread colony. I'm going to stab someone. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I do, but I don't. Uh, I'll just say it right now. <laughs> oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic uh, and athletic Why? Now, why? I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing oh, figures no. would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the Maybe they're board. just uncomfortable around you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, wow. Oh, jeez. Like, he's not like... He's not trying to be creepy. 
<laughs> it's just like, uh. <laughs> like these are two business and like, like these are two fields that shouldn't mix necessarily. Like the, <laughs> you don't advertise your saltuna business with, I can only assume is like light pornography <laughs> is what he's talking about. Oh my gosh. Oh, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm. I mean, that's just, that's kind of the like nature of like trade in general isn't it like it can be fairly precarious like even with con like established contracts and stuff like stuff happens but oh it sounds like you're freer than anyone else in halcyon well i don't you're not really free if you're being like you know if there's gunships outside in your you know gravity well or whatever you know in, in your in your atmosphere or just outside like outside your planet Let's, and you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Yes. Freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly power. Fair, fair. Exactly. Oh, Intellectualism okay. fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Uh-huh. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. <laughs> yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. <laughs> he just was like, wow, yes, and the train tracks of practicality. Our body's like, what, what are you talking about? Uh, so what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan oh. to get MSI restored to the board. Mm -hmm. On our terms. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Indeed not. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, the cost of freedom is high, and, like, like true freedom, or, like, it's, you know, not true freedom, but, like, I guess, like, any idealistic freedom is, like, gonna cost you in, in, in something. Like, tr freedom is never free type thing, right? You know, like... Whether it takes, like, lives fought in a war for freedom or, like, you know, sacrificing certain, like, personal gains or whatever for the sake of, like, freedom or something. You know what I mean? Like, there's always sacrifices that are going to be made. So, I don't know. It just seems like this is the this is the cheater way to go to get back with the board necessarily, you know? I, I keep thinking of the Dragon Age Inquisition thing between mages and Templars where, like... Anyway, that's like a whole, sorry, that's like a whole other thing, but like, when the mages were freed, after like a couple months, they're like, wow, this is really hard, and they like go back into a bad situation, and it's like, yes, if you weren't willing to commit, so I'm telling these guys, like, if you weren't willing to commit to the freedom bit, like, don't crawl back with your leg between your tail, or tw tail between your legs, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Uh, Slady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. Mm -hmm. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. How long did it take you to figure out you need to defend your city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. <laughs> and the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. The board... And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. I don't want to do anything with a board, is the thing. Where do I, what is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I mean, I don't want to, like, get in the way. <laughs> ordinance or ordnance. <laughs> I don't want to, like, get in the way of people, like, want to, you know, do their thing. Like, they have their own choices that they can make, good or bad. But when these people in power, like, are they the, are they the ones speaking, like, for what the people actually want? Or just, like, what they want? You know what I mean? Uh, what's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of oh, myself. Oh, I'll, I'll have to gather? You do tend to do I'll that. have to gather them. 
The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Right outside of town, jeez. Why is my perception not high enough? I have a pretty high perception, I thought. Maybe not. Maybe I don't, actually. That was decent. Uh, hmm. Well, all right. I guess I'll go uh, get it. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Uh -huh. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Yeah, no, definitely gonna use that as blackmail or something. I don't know. But I guess we'll call this one here. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next one.